All right, it's promised. Moving on to another Malifaux model. This time, Mortimer. All right, starting with tan skin, 09044. So Mortimer is Nicodemus' henchman. And while Nicodemus greatly appreciates Mortimer's skill at finding bodies for him to reanimate, as well as a bit of necromantic talent, he absolutely, absolutely abhors Mortimer's crude behavior. Mortimer could basically be described as the lowest common denominator. Foul mouthed, disrespectful, and a slob. It's not quite an even coat. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use Shield Brown 09161. Assuming this cooperates. Oh, hey, it works. And that was one that was almost empty. So we've been upside down all, literally all day has helped. Sure, the brush is damp, but not too wet. A little luck. The hands will be dry enough for me to paint the handle on the shell by the time I get the rest of this. Get my pickaxe. Here looks like it should be this backpack over here. Let's see, gotta be careful because he's got a lot of body parts he's carrying. And his shoes. And he's got his right foot standing on a freshly exhumed head. So, again, I'll be using a flocked base instead of doing a custom sculpt. And the hands are just barely dry enough, I can go ahead and do the handle of the shovel. Move on to his suit. 
Gonna give him a gray suit. 09089, cloudy gray. Being careful around the handle of the shovel it is painted. He's actually wearing a couple of necklaces that based on the concept dart look to be body parts. Painting those later and abstracting heavily. Okay, that's got that. Suppose I'll go ahead and make the hat match. Or at least part of it. So I suppose the last time I explained a bit about what a peon type model, or rather what a totem type model is. So the Vulture I did the last time was also a Peon, which is a cheap but very expendable model. Henchmen are seconds in command. And they can be your crew's leader in small and medium-sized games. Or they can be hired normally like any other model. So as a henchman, Mortimer could lead an arm, a little crew. I'm gonna go ahead and do the metal. Where is it? There we go. Tarnished steel, 09206. Not a whole lot. Gonna do a quick coat on this lantern on his back. being held in the finger of one of Mortimer's stolen limbs. Lay on the pickaxe. Rest of the shovel. Still so need to be more conscious of the camera. Let's see. Kinda unsure when I was painting where that wood should end and the metal should begin on this. I think I've got to figure it out now. 
course, the blade. There's a little metal or talisman on his hat. Go ahead and do the same silver. And he's got a bracelet on. We'll go ahead and paint that. Probably something he stole. And like I said, this character represents the lowest of the low. Grave robbing's the least of the things he's probably done. Move on to his overcoat, 09110 oil leather. Looks like this might actually be a tuxedo jacket. One of the big things that differentiates a tuxedo style jacket are the tails. That's pretty good. Give that a chance to dry and finish up the hat. I'm going to use 09077 on the feather and hat band just to give a bit of color and that it will look gaudy actually helps. Since more of us a guy with pretty much no taste.
Yeah, that definitely looks appropriately out of place. <laughs> He's got a big old grin. We'll just go ahead and do that with the white when I hit the details. So now for the body parts. Moldy skin, 09149. There's a bit I'll need to do is dirt on there. I didn't catch before. It's okay. Some ropes on his backpack I'll have to redo as well. I'm just going to go ahead and do all these limbs he's carrying around in this nice zombie dead green. Gray green. This is another model where a partial assemble might be advised, but I, like I said before, prefer not to do that. Personal reasons, personal choice. Though this is a bit tricky to it like this, I will not lie about that. Okay, just went done with that one. One more extra limb. While this could be a good model, talk about doing gore effects and, well, gore in general as far as his hobby is concerned. If not planned next, will be an even better topic. Mess that up a little bit, but it's easy to fix. Personally, I try to keep the gore to a minimum and only use it where it's actually appropriate. Or most appropriate. And again, I'll get into that next time. For now, we're just going to finish up Mortimer here. And in the concept art, he's wearing a couple necklaces. One made out of human ears, the other made out of finger bones. And I'm just going to abstract both of them with this undead gray grain here and call it good. So as I said, I prefer to keep the gore to a minimum. And that's again a personal choice. I'm going to pull out that shield brown again. Or not, there's enough left I might be able to. What have I got? Great, actually. Yay. 
enough left. I don't need to screw around anymore. I'm just going to carefully paint these ropes. He's got one around his shoulder right here, holding down his macabre load. And touch up that pickaxe a bit. There's a one rope here. This looks like another twist of cord here. Belt may be right there. Rope there. Okay. Tiny bit more to do the string of his gruesome necklaces. I should point out Malifaux is a game where there aren't really any heroes. Some characters aren't quite as evil as others. Wormer does not fall into that latter category. He is about as rotten as it gets. Okay, that takes care of the base coats. Well, almost. I almost forgot there's this little bit of dirt by this head here. I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Just like that. And now we're done with base coats. Let that dry completely, and we'll start on shading a bit. Okay, on to the shading. I did do a few touch-ups off-camera, mostly on the hat. Just for the sake of saving some time. So we're going to go with 09076 Deep Ocean. Get this mixed up really well. And don't need a whole light since it's only on the hat band. Being real careful, and that's got it. And then the dark brown next, I think, using wood stain brown 
just noticed I somehow managed to miss the inside of his right pant leg. I don't know how I did that, so just take that cloudy gray and touch that up real quick. I gotta let that dry now. Okay, moving on with the shading. Go ahead and do the bodies. Ghoul Skin 09148. Again, on all these disembodied limbs, I could have made them look fresher, done each one in a different color, and added blood, but I chose not to. I suppose I can go ahead and do the gray next. So that's going to be 09088 Stormy Gray. Very careful not to get this on the hat band, I already did. Carefully around the brim. Again, trying to avoid messing up the shading on the hat band.
Okay, that's got that. We'll let it dry a while. Okay, back at the shading. And I'm going to go on to the steel with 09205 black and steel. And it should be enough. Yeah, this is how little paint it can take. Okay, now I'm just going to let that dry. Alright, onto the coat. Ruddy Leather 09109. There's another one that is unfortunately almost empty. Okay, that's going to fight me. I'll just brace that and do the skin instead with hand highlight 09043. And then it looks like what I had interpreted as shirt earlier is actually part of his neck. But that's okay, I can fix it. Look a little different, but again, that's okay. It's got the flesh, and come back once that's dry and do the coat. All right, now for the leather, if my paint pot cooperates. Okay, that should be enough. Again, I'm getting ready to go on a 
bit of a spending spree when it comes to restocking paint in a few days here. Uh, that's the thing about this particular type of bottle, you can't always tell very easily when you need to restock on some of them. Gotta be careful on making sure I'm only getting the coat, and not hitting any of these other bits. Like that right there. Make sure to go underneath and get the tails. Careful not to get a little overexcited and hit the rope I shaved earlier. Alright, that's got the last of the shading. Once that dries, it's on to highlighting details and finishing up. Although, I can go ahead and do the base real quick. So, leaf green, 09101, no, 09011. <laughs> Another one I have to restock soon. I'm going to use a bigger brush for this. So, yeah, it's kind of beat up. Well, I could go over the base with just black. I choose to use a color as, again, kind of an homage to real-time strategy games, which are probably the closest parallel to a tabletop game that exists in electronic medium. And we'll let that all dry and start highlighting details. Okay, finishing up Mortimer. 09039 pure white
and 09045 tanned highlight. And yeah, Misty Gray zero nine zero nine zero. And then 09078 Surf Aqua. That is not mixed very well. Let's try that again. Yeah. That is not what you want your paint to look like before you start mixing it. Before you start using it, that is too much water, not enough the actual pigment. Is. This happens if you don't use paints for a while, if they're fairly new. See, that's better, that's more like it. And highlighting the coat with burnt orange, zero nine one one one. Now there's another one that's damn near empty, but I'm not worried about because I'm going to be buying new paint tomorrow. Yeah, this is really just about shot.
go ahead and finish up the dead flesh. Where is the one I need? There we go. Bloodless skin Before I move on to the steel, let's hang on. Okay, that was interesting. Nothing of consequence. Just had to move my car for a tree trimmer. Where was I? So, before I move on to the steel, we're going to do a glowing effect in this lantern. So, we're going to take that same wipe, put in the eyeballs, and on his big, toothy grin. Not that over the lantern here. Blot that out where it ran out. Come back to that in a little bit. Move on to the wood, I think. Driftwood brown. 09162. get really good where they steal around in the backpack here. We'll take zero nine zero zero nine lemon yellow. Tiny ducks. We're just going to use this to finish up that lantern. And only need one single drop of water to dilute it properly. And run that in there. Well, and again, take the towel and blot out excess. And then, 09007 marigold yellow. A little bit. There we go. Loot that with some water. And I'll 
care if we dab that in there. There we go. And then true silver, true silver. Ah, need more coffee. Zero nine two zero seven. Is that to highlight the metal? Make sure that brush is nice and dry. Bit on the face of the lantern. Okay. So I had talked about using gore when appropriate. And we're going to do a bit of that. 09203, I think. Bad label, blood red. So I said before, Mortimer is a bottom feeder, most common denominator, and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty if the situation calls him to do a little bit of blood on the pickaxe, not a whole lot, and just on the one, just dab it on, just get a slight reddish tint there, I'm going to do the same with the jagged edge on this shovel. Kind of dry brushing, dab it on, just on that really jagged part, because this guy is, I mean, he is a scum, one of those characters you love to hate. Go ahead and take the detail brush, it's just saying final, and just pick out these buttons on his coat real quick. My brush is a little beat up, I'm going to have to replace it fairly soon. These things do not last forever. And that same silver to give them a few highlights. So again, it is down a little bit. Then pure black zero nine zero three seven. Tiny tiny bit of this. Dang it. Things keeps. And all those clogs so too much came out. Gotta watch that. Carefully dot in the pupils. My bottle of glue has disappeared again. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Uh, I left this in the other room. Give him a little Elmer's glue all. Dilute. Mixed up. 
really good. Taking a dry one and brushing it away where we don't want it. And carefully dripping in the scenic cement to seal the flock. You also may choose to just wait for this to dry. And that's what I would normally do as well, but for purposes of demonstration and making these go as quickly as possible, I'll get a little impatient. And that's it. Mortimer from Malifaux. Nicodemus loathsome henchman, as crude as he, he is useful. Got two more Malifaux videos I'm gonna do, and then switch gears to another game. What the? And my brush is shedding. <laughs>